Hey guys, I uh, remember in my first uh, Jared's New Home Experience video, I said I was going to show you my neighborhood because, as Jeff said, it was pretty shitty. I called it uh, the ghetto of Japan. So, um, it is, um, walking out of my house to go to karaoke, so I figured, you know, I'll make a video out of this and I'll be able to show you my neighborhood on the way because it's pretty right outside. So, you'll be able to get a good view of it and all of its shittiness. I mean, j j just for example, I mean, look, there's garbage all over the place. Oh, wait, that's my garbage. Okay, so I'm walking out of the dorm right now, and if you look behind me, look to the side of me, look in front of me, look right there, it doesn't look very bad. This is actually a very nice part of uh, Kobe, I guess. However, in a little while, I'm going to be crossing uh, some sort of, like, I don't know, city line that separates the nice part from the shitty part. So uh, it'll be right up here. See? It goes over a train overpass, and uh, that's pretty much where it turns bad. So I'll resume this after I get there. Okay, I'm under the bridge right now that uh, the train goes under. And it was weird. I, I was thinking, I, I'm slowing down right now because there's like a bunch of Japanese people around me. I don't want, I want them to think I'm weird or something, but... And here's how it changes. trash pretty much all over the place see the buildings kind of well this is underneath the uh, ra the railroad tracks but uh still um i guess no one would want to live in them anyway because you break uh you're being kept up until 12 o'clock until the last uh, train goes and then you'd be woken up at you know, like what 4 30 in the morning when the first train comes or five something like that probably going to get like four hours of decent sleep but yeah um as you can see here here's some nice buildings next to these and uh so that's pretty much what i meant um however it's i mean it's not that bad living here i mean yeah i'll see like homeless people like uh hanging out around here some people will come by and be like hey i got food stuff like that but um uh, but I think they hang around here and they get uh, odd jobs from other people. Um, it's interesting to see. Um, but no, it's um, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, I I walk through here every day. I'm I'm fine. Everything seems to be all good. And uh, you know, there's a lot of Japanese people looking at me kind of weirdly. So <laughs> resume once I get near kind of okay. Hopefully they'll have a mortal technique there. Who knows? Okay, we're in karaoke now, and uh, right now we're listening to some okay, Chicago song by that dude. And coming up next, some asshole put booking me by a video on it. Oh my god, you're an asshole. Japanese people interested in my vlog, <laughs> and this person is escaping me. You can't escape. <laughs> gotcha. Anyway, the uh, yeah, most of the uh, pizza interview, <laughs> they want to watch me do this. <laughs> most of the pizza in Japan is like this tortilla stuff. Like it's not, there's no real crust. But this one has, it, it, it's tortilla-ish, but it's not really thin. But it's, it, yes, this will be on YouTube. But, uh, um, yeah, but, no, this one, like, it, it wasn't very, uh, tortilla-ish, it was more, uh, pita-ish. Mixed between, like, kind of close to a pita and, get your hand <laughs> Mixed between, like, a pita and a, uh, tortilla. Uh, there's only been one time I've actually found an actual crust on the pizza. I was in Kobe, so, uh, 
they were about to leave and go back. It was a fun night. I, we got to uh, we got to sing Smells Like Teen Spirit. That was always fun. But the uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, just too long, too tedious.